All right, the main reason I did not decide uh, to get the Pixel Fold is because I ended up getting rid of my Pixel 7 Pro. All right, let's talk about that in this video coming up. All right, hey guys, my name is Mike, and um, on this channel, I'm going to be talking about uh, good, like hashtag good, good choices. You know, what's good for you uh, might not be what's good for me, and same goes, you know, what's good for me might not be what's good for you. Uh, but the goal is, is to help you make a choice. And if you're like me, an indecisive uh, person, indecisive tech enthusiast like I am, um, you're going to notice uh, that you're having trouble making a choice on what you should buy. And uh, what it comes down to is you've got to think about uh, what is good for your situation. You know, is it truly good? Okay. Um, so my big thing is being a good person, being around good people and making good choices. All right. So very important to me. And it, it, it almost makes me feel depressed when I notice that somebody makes a bad choice. Um, it definitely is something that I look back on for myself. And I think, you know, I wish that I wouldn't have made that choice or I'm so glad I made a good choice. You know, it makes me either really like kind of feel bad or super happy. All right. So for me on this channel, I want to help you make a good choice. And um, if you need a tablet, buy a tablet. Okay. If you need a phone, buy a phone. For right now, I don't feel like foldables are the way to go, but that's just because maybe for me, it's not good. Okay. If, if you want something that is like right in between and because you want that foldable new feature, uh, then yeah, maybe go for it. You know, maybe you don't want to hold a tablet because tablets are too big to put in your pocket, but yet you want to be able to have something that will fold out. And so that way you can read your book. But um, for me, I don't ever read on my tablet, right? I have a Kindle ebook reader that I would use. Um, I have, I buy, I like to buy the actual books, which, um, that's something to say about that too, because I don't really like carrying a book around. Um, but, and I hardly have time to actually read the book, but when I do get to read the book, um, I like to read an actual book, um, and I will listen to an audio book, uh, versus, you know, um, you know, a podcast or versus music or something like that, uh, because I'd like to have that chance to be able to learn. So for you, if you like to read with that style of, of, you know, that like your phone, it might be the perfect dimensions for you to be able to read like a, an actual book. So that would be kind of something that's cool. Um, but it is a first generation device. The Pixel Fold is. Um, I don't have any personal experience with it, but all I can say is the reasons why I didn't buy it. And it's expensive. Another reason is it's a lot of money. I, I like the software that Google has to offer on their phones, but I ended up not have, having hardly ever used my Pixel 7 Pro. After a while, all I really wanted to use was an iPhone. You know, I have an Apple Watch. I've got my MacBook. Honestly, though, I, I could go without any of those things, be completely out of the Apple ecosystem. I could be using some other earbud other than the the Buds, the the pixel no the um apple airpods uh pro too uh, so on, on that doesn't matter to me i want something that's the best i want something that's the you know the 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 best for me um but the main thing with the phone is i just know exactly how to use an iphone instantly and it always it's so consistent i don't know how else to explain it i know it's kind of a cop-out i want to give somebody more of an explanation on why i say me using my iPhone is more consistent than me just picking up my Android phone. It could come down to just simply uh, not having to hassle with two different ways to unlock the phone, right? The Pixel 7 Pro, I would pick it up. Sometimes it would see my face correctly and it would do it. Sometimes it wouldn't. You would definitely know when it did though. Whereas with an iPhone, you don't have to even worry about it. You're like, wait a minute, how did I unlock my phone right now? Wait, I don't actually even remember thinking about having to unlock, unlock my phone because my phone unlocked for me before I even realized it unlocked it, right? Like, so you don't have to jump through the hurdle of having to put a fingerprint down on the thing and making sure that you're putting the right finger, uh, the, the right screen protector on your phone. So that way this fingerprint sensor works, right? Um, I, I would rather not have to deal with that stuff. 
there are a lot more accessories that you can buy for iPhones, which I like accessories. I like to have my phone feel like a brand new phone and and so um, and often and I would rather make the phone that I have feel like a brand new phone um, rather than buying a brand new phone because the one I have is is the one I really, really like. You know, the iPhone that I have is the one I really, really like. I mean, you know, I just want to like it more, right? Or I just want a new feel on the on the, the, the phone or um, I want my phone to just look different than somebody else's, right? Um, so there's nothing against the Android, you know, ecosystem. I actually liked it. I liked that it, it was different, right? But I didn't want different anymore. I wanted consistent. I wanted something that I would be consistent uh, with and just be a master at. And um, so I sold my Pixel 7 Pro and I am not regretting it at all. Like I'm not, I hadn't, I haven't wished that I still had that phone whatsoever at all um, in the past, like what, two, three weeks that I've sold it. Uh, I just hope that wh whoever has it now, you know, whoever bought it, because I've sold mine on Swappa, I'll put a link down in the description down below. If you are interested in seeing where you can go sell your phone, if you're looking to sell yours, your iPhone, Android, whatever it is. But I hope that they're enjoying that phone. Um, and because I really did like that phone. There's some really good features about uh, the Pixel 7 Pro. But would I buy a iPhone fold. I've never asked myself that before. I'm asking myself that right now on camera. Would I ever buy a iPhone fold? <laughs> I would have to say I would. I don't know if I'd be the first one out there to go get it. I probably would actually. I don't know. But what it comes down to is, yeah, I mean, I think I would because um, I would want to try to see what, you know, that is all about. If it's the same footprint as the iPhone that I have now, but it's just a little bit thicker and it would open up to be a bigger display that I can enjoy more. I think I would because here's the thing. I bought the iPhone 14 Pro to go alongside my iPhone 14 Pro Max and yes, I know it's a lot of money, but that my plan isn't to keep both phones. I, I wanted to, um, I thought that the iPhone 14 Pro would be something that would play, replace my iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I, I bought first. And for a while it did, but the battery life differences wasn't enough to make me switch over one or the other. The main thing was the display. I actually... Whenever I picked up my phone, I wanted to have more of a viewable area. That was it. So I feel like if I got a, an iPhone fold, that would probably be more of a viewable area, right? So it's not even the fact that the Pixel fold is a fold. I, I, would, I would buy it if I had liked or used the Pixel 7 Pro enough for me to want a bigger display on another Pixel phone. So could I still use a Pixel phone? If the, if my iPhone got taken away from me right now, I could, I, could, I could totally use a Pixel. I would use the Pixel over going with Samsung. Sorry for you, Samsung fandroids or uh, yeah, out there. I, I just, I like the phone. I always enjoyed uh, using the S21 Ultra. But um, when I went over to the Pixel, that was it for me, right? It's just, it's just a better experience for me. It makes more sense. You, I feel like in the software, you get more for your money. And that's what I like. So for me, that purchase was good. So hashtag good. Um, is the Pixel 7 a good purchase? It is if it falls in line with one of those other things that I was saying to you. If you have the Pixel 7 Pro and you want a bigger display, maybe it is. Maybe the better battery life would be good. Maybe, maybe it'd be nice that you could get away from that curved display on the Pixel 7 Pro. I probably would go for it, right? It might be a good purchase. Maybe if you have kids and you want to be able to have something that you know is going to last after they watch their, they play their game or they watch their, their TV show or whatever you want to do to keep them busy. You still have enough juice at the end of the day, you know, or for the end of the day to get you through, you know? So maybe it is, maybe it is a good purchase for you. Maybe. Uh, so 
For me, it wasn't good because I stuck with iPhone, with Apple. Uh, but hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, tell me if that is a good purchase for you. Why or why not? All right, guys, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. I'll take care. Uh, my name is Mike. Catch you later. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the, hit, the li hit the like button. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.